Hello, and welcome. I'm Zyner, and here we are once again playing modded Minecraft. So, first things first, I made some slime balls. It's actually stupidly simple. Slime balls is polymethyl methacrylate, which is... three methyl methacrylate. So, I made those because I'm going to need them, although I might end up needing some leather at some point. We'll get around to it. Uh, I've got this set up. It does, in fact, go the other way. I've actually blown this up and knocked out some of this and had to replace it. Uh, this has to be here because this will auto output, so there's no way to actually turn this off, and I need to be able to turn it off so it doesn't explode. I've got three Electrum blocks in here, which I made with my LA smelter. Uh, da -da -da -da. Why did I type that? Electrum. So I made Electrum by putting gold and silver in, and I get two each, so I made three blocks, and I'm running at 1837.7 RPMs, generating 900 even RF per tick. And I've got this here so it can handle the output, because my cables can't. And then this one down here is actually... It loses some power whenever this cuts down a tree. But aside from that, I've basically got 11 million stocked up, five there, five there, and then one inside the turbine. But what I want to make right now is I want to make the armor from uh, Flaxbeards, or Steamcraft 2, or it, it, the actual Steamcraft 2 is different. This will get us to the pistons. So a pipe. Three pieces of brass and a piston gets a brass piston. However, we need plates for every single one of these pieces. So we're going to make a nether crucible, because the regular crucible requires a heat source under it. Be that either lava or uh, fire. I think fire works. I normally use lava. Uh, we're going to need a mold... This will give us something for it to pour into. And then we're going to actually need some molds. Now, in order to actually make anything out of the molds, we need to make a carving table. What do you mean? I have five pieces of wood in a mold. Sorry, seven pieces of wood in a mold. Yeah. Uh, I'll put that here. Now, I don't technically need all the molds, but I'm doing it anyhow. Just right click on oh, anywhere and you will carve it up. I do not actually need this or this, but I do need the plate mold. So you right click in there, you can see that is a plate. And you get roughly a 50% increase on whatever you put in. So, eh, let's see, I'll put in eight just throw them in the top, they'll melt down, close your mold, pour it out, and open it back up. The only downside to this is obviously the fact that you need an open hand, and it's slow, which is why I set up the alloy smelter recipe for making these. Now, I thought about setting up an alloy smelter recipe where you, uh, I don't know, almost like an iron sink, so you can automate it easier with an alloy smelter, but it would take uh, like an iron ingot or something, so it would be brass plus an iron ingot and you make a plate, but I'd have to do something like that for every single thing, and then I'd risk breaking actual alloy potential recipes, and it's unpleasant. Okay, come on. And, like, it is actually so grotesquely slow. And ignore the that overlay that was on because it was. Uh, and now I need some copper, copper plates. And I'm going to need some gold plates. Uh, what did I... I'm trying to think of what I mathed it out to. I need... I know I need 16 plates. So... 
12. No. Hmm. I'll make 12. Because there's not any better way to do it. So that'll cost a bit of gold. Uh, we don't actually... Uh, basically, I need to make gold plates, which are made in the Crucible, but I want exosuit plates. Now, as far as I know, because I can't make the book, if this hasn't changed, every single one of these, every single one is only equivalent to iron armor. So, I can live with that. Whatever. I can live with iron armor. I mean, I've been using it now, but I'll obviously get extra effects, and I want to make this, but... Mm, I thought there was one that was just general protection. Maybe not. No, no, no. So I'd probably want to make some iron plates as well. Which does not or dictionary, which is disappointing. Or maybe knockback resistance. So I can actually get to the skeletons. Hmm. But, in order to make... Well, we can make... We should be able to make most of the armor pieces now. So here's the leggings. I counted out the number of brass plates for the armor. I think. Hopefully I'm not off. It's always a possibility. No, 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 no. I don't think I am. Yeah, foot piece. And then I think it should be three for the chest piece. It might be five. I might be wrong. It is three. However, I need to make a compass. Oops can hear my zombie army over there. I killed them out before I started, but it was still night when I slept. They all rushed over to hide in the water, and now they're down there. Okay, so I was going to make a steam gauge, which is four brass nuggets around a compass. And steam exosuit chest piece. Now, in order to make proper use of this, I need... An engineering table, which is you know, an iron plate. That's unfortunate. Okay. I'll burn down two iron and get three iron plates. I just don't like having anything excess in there, and I don't like the idea of destroying anything either, so. Oh well. Uh, okay, so I need. Oh, I have enough cobble. Uh. Where is it? Here. Whoops. Oh, well, that solved my iron plate problem. Uh, I will put this... You know what? I'll put it on top here. So, what this will allow me to do is, obviously, I can't modify... Well, I can take them off, but... These things, they have different slots. Here's the armor slot. Uh, that's painting. I believe painting. This is the tank slot, and then there's two other slots, which can't remember. There's like two things. Like, I don't think I can put wings, which this is what the copper plates are for. Wings? I think. Yeah, they only go there, and I think the jetpack goes in the same exact spot. But, first, before we can do or make use of any of this, I actually want to make. I want to make the next tier up, but I'm not sure if I can afford it. Uh, ooh, it's going to be close. Oh, it's going to be real close. What? I reversed it, didn't I? I don't know if I do this. There's a very good chance that I will not be able to afford to make anything else because the zinc I have as it is was an absolute pain. Is it a block of brass? Well, that sucks. Now I can make that. I want to make this, but obviously I've destroyed my supply of brass. But I am going to need this regardless. Do I have an extra... Oh, I have three. Convenient. Uh, the only problem is I'm actually going to need more pipes. 
you can make everything go 50% farther, really, if you convert it all into plates. But I'm not really patient enough for that, to be honest. So, I'm going to have to hope I get zinc through this, to be honest. There's, there's one zinc. That is one zinc ingot worth. Uh, this down here is basically my trash system I've created. Uh, one zinc. One. Oops. Alloy mode. One. That's it. A little get me four brass, but still. One zinc. The easiest way to really get it is from nether bricks, because you could turn nether rack into nether into another brick, and then you turn the nether bricks into or nether the four nether brick in it's the way they name them is so confusing to work with. Uh well I can't make I I can't upgrade. So I'll put one in there. Because, thankfully, I can at least still put this here. So it holds 360,000 steam units. You actually get slowed down if it's not powered and if you're not wearing the full set. Like, you have to wear the full set and have it powered. Otherwise, you can experience getting slowed down. So that's fun. Uh, I've got this little setup here, but... I'm going to put a pipe here, and then I'm going to put this guy here, 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 oh, here, and now I should be able to put this up on top, and then I can put this in, flick this switch, and... You know what, I'm going to turn this off for the moment, because I'm slightly terrified. Uh, I do still have ingots. Not ingots, nuggets. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, there we go. Now, do I still have enough? This is what I needed the slime balls for. Oh, leather boots. Well, I can't... Well, I can almost... No. I could almost make it. If only I had four leather. I have two. So, I will be making this as soon as I can. I'm going to have to build up a supply of zinc, which means I'm going to have to get a bunch of netherrack and smelt it, or just get some nether brick. Probably go for the netherrack. It's considerably faster overall. Plus... I'm, I'll probably just quarry it. Uh, you still filling? No. No, you're just doing that graphic. I'm going to do this, because this will give me an idea on whether or not I'm overloading the system. Because if this goes up, this pipe can explode. See what I mean? Now, this can drain faster than this is outputting, so that's good. Uh. Okay. So, while that's filling up, which I'm going to need to keep a very close eye on that. There. Close eye can be achieved. Not really. Uh, that is one thing I'm curious about. Can I easily set this up in a way... Now, this is going to drain down. Is it a one-to-one -one conversion ratio, I wonder? Hmm. If I turn you off, you're going to start... Actually, you're going to... Okay, that's full. You're going to start building back up. 
The thing is, I don't want to over drain it because then this will slow down. Uh, you should be empty, right? 70,000. So it's a 2 to 1 ratio then? So I need to use like 720,000 steam in order to fill that? Okay. That's a lot of steam. So while that's going, can I make anything? Well, I can make the gold plates. Which I should probably do. Uh, I'll run 12 gold through. The extremely boring process of melting things down. There's a very good reason why I just did that, and it's because I'm not really sure whether or not it will overmelt, if that makes any sense. But I need a total of 16 plates. I'm not entirely sure why exactly I'm going for extra experience, but I suppose it's because this is... I can use the experience. Uh, actually, I'll come back to you in a second. I don't have to worry about anything vaporizing there. Four. Four. And four. So I'm obviously making some dark steel. I have my octatic capacitors that I had made that I was running in the generators in those two machines now, so they go retardedly fast. Sorry, sorry. Idiotically fast, because mental retardation is an actual disease. Although technically it's called mentally challenged, so people shouldn't really take offense to the word retard, but... I, I'll never understand people. Like, simply calling the act of somebody, like, calling somebody mentally challenged, using the word retard in order to talk about that specific, like, person and their given disease is already technically slang and is more offensive than the word itself. I realize I might be taking this entire debate a little bit too far, but... Okay, so you get one plate. Uh... Plate. So notice how it says extra experience. That's about the only clue I have is to make sure that I have the proper thing in here. And... How are you doing, sir? Uh, you're almost full. You're draining, which means that this is losing power. So I'm losing power overall, but the internal buffer isn't going down, which means that I'm fine in that regard. Uh, you know what? We don't need this completely filled. I'm going to assume that as long as that's still moving, there's steam available in it. Uh, 960, 960, okay, so you're full, as full as you're going to get, we'll put, I can't, oops, I can't shift click it in, which is kind of annoying, okay, so, take off the iron armor, bam, so, I don't know if I have to hold a button to actually make use of the wings. Now, it will not drain steam unless you're moving. So that's good. Uh, hmm. I've got wings! Oh, screw you, witch. Whee! Ow. 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 I'm on fire. Okay, now I'm not on fire. So I've got wings. Wings that don't let me directly fly. They allow me to glide so I don't take fall damage. Although eventually I'll want to probably upgrade to a jetpack. And they also let me glide pretty quickly. 
I actually glide at faster than normal movement speeds. So that's that's actually a secondary benefit that I was not expecting. Things I do want to get, I, the monocle's not really necessary. Like, I've got the extra experience armor in it, and I've got no fall damage, which is the two biggest things I wanted, although there's a decent number of other things I can get. I can exchange out the armor pieces for other things that I want, and stuff like that. Uh... Is there anything else I really, really want? Not at this exact moment. Uh, I don't know what some of the stuff is, and until I actually get some zinc ore, I can't actually figure that out. So that's kind of annoying. Uh, this should allow me to jump higher, but then again, I need leather boots. So, yeah. If I, I could get jump higher and use it with the wings or you get the jetpack and then you get these and you exchange full damage for steam there's zombies down here and I'm curious as to how much experience I get if I'll kill all these now I'm getting a lot of experience Okay, I'm getting a lot of experience. Because I've killed hordes of zombies twice that size and gotten less experience than this. And now I'm up to 40 experience in there. Uh, how many feathers do I have? Eight. Is that enough? One, two, one, two, four. And then, huh, maybe. But I don't have enough leather. Hmm. Hmm. See, here's another problem with leather. You get five. But if you break it down, you have a 50% chance to get one. Do you see where the slight brokenness comes in here? I don't know why that is, and it irritates me because I want to use that to make leather, but if I use that to make leather, I will end up with too much. I'm just going to sort of half-cheaty my way out here. So, I need, all in all, four leather, plus a little bit more... You know what? You know what's a good source of leather? Horses. And there's quite a lot of horses around here. I've seen them. So... I'm gonna kill horses despite the... like, horrifying noise they make. The only thing I have to be worried about is how quickly my steam in my suit's gonna run out. Screw you, chicken. And you. Cause see, there's even more horses over here. And if I was to get a horse, I'd probably get one of the black ones, to be honest. Cause I'm planning on going for this sort of, like, horrible dystopian theme, so... Oh, there's a lot of horses here. And I'm not somebody who really cares... Wow, that noise. I'm not somebody who really cares so much about the horse stats either. Because, obviously, I end up with stuff from the pack that ends up being a bit more useful. More or less. Whee! Whee! Ooh, horse. Wait, do I have... Oh, yeah. I have step assist. This makes me very happy. I'll jump in the lava. That would make me very unhappy. 
So, I'm probably going to want some other things, but obviously, leather's a problem. And I might have to come up with a way for that. I wonder if I make... Well, I don't have the emeralds to make another powered spawner, but a powered spawner for cows. Or horses. Doesn't really matter either way to me. Uh, get out of my life. I don't even need you. Or you. And I have way too many of you. So let's try this again. One, two, three, four. Uh, you. I'm going to need five books. I don't know what happened to my brain there for a second. It kind of... Could put it out. If you know what I mean. Two, three, four, five. Five books. And I'm going to need four of you as book and quills. Which is why I made this. And we need two of my diamonds. Book. Dark steel. And, voila, an enchanter. So. Uh, I'll put this... No, not there. I want it here. So, if I take a mob head, so I'm going to need four mob heads, and I think it's eight experience... Right? Eight? Wait. Wait. Really? I can do that? I didn't know that. Oh, so much experience lost. I feel like it would be cheaper. Uh, you know what? I don't even care. I'll do it this way. Now, for the great question. Can I use this for this purpose at least? Yes, I can. So... This is working, right? Okay, that was that noise was terrifying. Okay, I see the progress bar now. It looks like it's working. A bit glitchy actually. God, that noise is terrifying sounding. So at least I don't have to worry about using experience in this case. Uh, when I think about it, what I did there, that actually saved me a mob head and a book, but it cost me, I think, eight more experience than it would have. Which, getting a level 40, those eight levels is a lot. But... What? It worked. I think. Yes, so. Now, if I understand this right, it's 7.5% for every... Uh, every level of looting on it that it increases mob head drops by. But it's only 5% for... Wither Skeletons. So with looting 3, the Wither Skeleton head drop chance is something in the area of like 20%. But regular mobs will have a drop rate of about 30%. And I could actually get more sharp... Well, I can't get more sharpness on you without going through the annoying process, but... I did not realize I could do that. And you can make 
almost anything you really want with this, but I can't enchant this armor. So it's kind of meh in that regard. But I can enchant I can enchant the tools. Ugh. Sharpness takes yeah. Just just yeah. Fire aspect, nobody loves that. Silk touch on the pick. I do kind of want that, but that's 30 levels. Fortune's good too, but you know that's going to end up being, well, besides the fact that it costs a ton of emeralds. Uh, unbreaking I could do. Because they're not doing breaking three yet. I would need four obsidian and two book and quills. 12 levels each. Ugh. That's unfortunate. But, I can use this guy here to put this on. It uses considerably less steam for this enchant, which honestly is expected. And voila, unbreaking three. And I haven't used all that much steam actually out of my chess piece. I move slower because I wasn't wearing the whole set. Oh, no, oh, in there. Drain up all that remaining steam. Hmm. Done? I think it's done. Cool. So, we have an armor that will not break on us. I'm assuming I cannot decompose damaged armors. No, I cannot. Uh, I'll throw it up here, this retarded chest. You heard me. We've already been over this conversation. Don't argue with me. Got the extra plates. Got the pipes. And I'll have to work on getting more brass for next time. But, for now, I'm going to call this good. I've got an easy way to get unnecessarily high amounts of experience levels. And I'm gonna have more mob heads than I know what to do with. Look at that. That right there was 10 levels. And egg. No chicken. So, I'm gonna call this good. And now you see that I have this ridiculous way of also anviling. Although it doesn't work with the Ender IO stuff, but that's fine. Actually, it might. But I don't have any way to test that. Because these are both upgraded as high as I can be. Mm, I can do that, but I don't have an emerald. No emerald. No emerald. Although, an Ender Crystal, which I think takes an emerald. Ender crystal? Yeah, yeah, I need an emerald for that. I don't have anything but takes experience that I could easily put on either one of these, I don't think. Because that has travel, or that has travel, because I already put spoon. And I don't have vibrant, so I need emeralds, so I guess I'll work on trading with some villagers. There's also, uh, I think somewhere over that way, where's my atlas? Uh, this right here, I believe this is Extreme Hills. So, yeah. I'm going to call this good. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.